Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how the narcissist silent treatment actually hurts them more. Please give the video a thumbs up down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website, it is narcsurvivor.co.uk. A narcissist silent treatment hurts them more. All of a sudden, the narcissist began giving you the silent treatment, which is something they weaponize against you. So it's meant to punish you. Although sometimes it can have the opposite effect, where you're grateful for this moment of peace in your life. But other times, it can be a very painful experience because it makes you wonder what you did wrong or what you can do better. When really, it's not that you've done something wrong. They have an ulterior motive. It's part of their manipulation. But it actually hurts them more than it hurts their own victim. And it can only hurt you when you're not aware of what they're trying to do because then you may believe that there's actually a problem that needs to be solved and then you may reach out to them, which is exactly what they want you to do. It's why they give you the silent treatment. They're doing it for supply, which is why when they give you the silent treatment, you need to go silent because eventually they will burn out. It will cause them to overthink about why they're not affecting you and then it will drive them insane. Even though they were the ones who stopped talking to you, and now you're just offering the same amount of effort as they're giving to you, so you're not doing anything wrong. Because in a relationship, it should be 50-50. There should be an equal amount of effort. But it's how you should know that if they've gone silent, and then you go silent back to them, they will experience a loss of energy and an inability to function effectively. Because usually, they're siphoning that stability and energy from you. So now, they will feel empty and hopeless because they want to use you as a vessel. They want to dump their negativity onto you. That is why they deliberately try to provoke you. But now all of that negativity remains within their minds and they are unable to reveal that to you because they don't want you to know that they need you. It would injure that dignity and pride after they've already painted you as this horrible person and they're meant to be punishing you by going silent on you. Which they're doing because they feel entitled to privileges or special treatment from you in return for a perceived insult or injury. And that is why they will not withdraw their position of silence or admit that they were wrong. Because they believe that they are inherently deserving of something from you. When really, it's because they are incapable of sustaining themselves and they depend on you for their sustenance. Because by being immoral and dishonest, they have sold their souls. So now, they are devoid of a sense of self, purpose and connection to something greater than the physical world. And it's why if you let them continue with their silent treatment, it will hurt them. And they will get very angry and upset that you're not communicating with them. They will wish that you would communicate so that they could say something to provoke you. Because they can't withdraw their silent treatment. They see it as a weakness to start speaking to you. They lack the internal strength and character to be able to do that. So instead, they ghost you. But when they do that, you can ghost them. Because that's only going to aid you. It's only going to help restore your energy while they will burn out. Until finally, they will cave in. And then they will show up at your house or they will spy on you on social media. But whatever happens, 
there will be some form of contact or observation that revolves around you because you are the source of their energy and stability. You keep them ticking over, which is why without you, they're going to fall apart until they start picking fights with people or they start slamming doors. They will have to do something to try to trigger a reaction from you. So their silent treatment isn't just this foolproof plan of making you suffer. Because all you have to do is retreat within yourself. And by doing that, they may try to contact you again. But when they do that, you must maintain your silence. Because that is when the power dynamic will begin to shift in your favor. They like it when they can mirror you but they do not want you to start mirroring them because that will destroy them. It will reveal to them that their silent treatment is not working on you, which will anger and frustrate them. They may not reveal that to you, but it's driving them insane in their minds, which is why you do need to be very careful when you match their energy or when you persevere with your silence or no contact because you never know how they might react. They can become very dangerous when they lose their source of supply. Which is why when you are continuing with your silence or no contact, you do need to be very cautious because then they will presume that you are no longer upset over them, which is not what they want. Because they want to be the source of your pain and suffering. It's the only way that they can survive emotionally they are dependent on you for that. So there is no need for you to communicate your feelings of hurt to them. They are already aware if they are damaging you. They don't care. That is what they want to happen. Which is why they will constantly scan your facial expressions, body language and tone of voice, and even your text messages for any signs of pain or distress because it makes them feel powerful and significant. But that's only in the moment or shortly after its occurrence. It won't have a lasting effect on them. So it will never be enough to sustain them. Which means that they will never be satisfied with anything they do to you. And it's why as time passes, their blood will begin to boil. And then they're going to have to do something else to get your attention again. But no matter what they do, you must maintain your silence because there is no point talking to them. They are insatiable creatures who thrive on your suffering, which is why even if they did everything in their power to harm you and you remain stoic and you didn't even hold them accountable for anything that they did to you, they will start making accusations against you because they're still not satisfied with the outcome or result. They want more drama, they want more carnage. Which is why no matter what they do to you, you just have to remain silent and it will drive them insane because all they want is your reaction and all of this should reveal to you that they are really suffering to the point where they're now giving you the silent treatment in an effort to get you to chase them to where you then start messaging and calling them and then you're under their spell because otherwise they're not going to listen. They do not want to cure anything negative about themselves, which is why talk to them is really just a waste of time because you are not going to get any sense out of them. So let them be the first one to speak. Let them initiate contact with you. And by doing that, you're letting their act of weaponizing something against you backfire on themselves, where it will then have the opposite effect of what was intended, which is really the only thing that can happen once you remove yourself, because they need you far more than you need them. And they will always need you, but you can do better. So don't let their silence affect how you feel about yourself. 
and instead recognize that when a narcissist goes silent, it's typically because they know they can't win the argument with you, because they're unable to justify themselves, so they do not have the words to defeat you. Because they already know you're just going to show them that they are less important and clever than they think they are. You're just going to remind them of their position. And they do not want to be reminded of that. Because it would humiliate them entirely. It would make them feel ashamed and cause them to lose respect for themselves. But even their idea of self-respect is based on a false pretense. It's based on their ability to deceive other people rather than them actually having a high opinion of themselves. Which is why if they sense that you might have anything negative to say, and even if it's completely factual or truthful, they will go silent because they don't want to hear it. They would rather just live a lie. Which is why they premeditated a plan in their heads to destroy you. Because all they really want is to feel like they're winning as though they are victorious in a contest or competition, because they're attractive or because they've won money, when the reality is that they are actually the definition of a loser, because you were put at a huge disadvantage by their situation and course of action. You would have been far better off without them. And although that may only be the case if they were actually with you, Rather than acting as your opponent, as you later discovered, the truth is that they are actually their own worst enemy. Because they cause most of their own problems and most of the bad things that happen to them because of their weak character and their inability to take accountability for their own decisions in life. And that's what this all boils down to. They do not want to accept themselves. And they do not want to accept you as you actually are because the reality of what they become is just too difficult for them to bear, which is why they would rather conceal it. They will still stay silent, but given the opportunity, they will expose you to divert any negative attention away from themselves because they want to preserve their false image. They want to continue play make-believe, but their silence is only going to hurt them more than it hurts you because you haven't got anything to worry about. There's nothing on your conscience, which is why they are the ones who are trying to get to you. They're trying to play on your mind to cause you to think negatively because normally you wouldn't think that way. You wouldn't even be concerned about it because you know that you haven't done anything wrong. And it's why no matter how the course of events unfold, it's only going to hurt them and they will become heavily reliant on you for supply to where they will show an excessive need for your attention and admiration because they know you're clean so it means that much more coming from you and any doubts that you had about yourself weren't even your thoughts they were implanted in your mind through the use of the narcissist gaslighting you never thought that way about yourself before. It was orchestrated. And there was a premeditated and intended effect of their actions. Because they have to rely on their manipulation. They have to control and influence you in a dishonest way so that you do not realize it. In order for them to gain an advantage. Because it's the only way they will ever accomplish anything. By knowingly misrepresenting the truth and concealing facts in order to induce you to act to your detriment. Because if you had known, you never would have gone along with it. And you never would have believed the things they caused you to believe about yourself. But it is your belief that gives it power. It's what gives them supply. Which is why they need your connection and association with them because that's what gives it life. It's what makes them feel like they exist. It's what makes them feel alive. And they can try to find another you, but they never will. They will never find someone so innocent and pure. 
they will never find someone who will believe what they made you believe. And if you look on their social media, they will act like they're living their best lives, but they're just doing that to provoke you because they're hoping that it will make you want to come back to them. They won't speak to you directly, but instead they will act passive aggressive because you have such a clean image. So they have to contaminate you. And it's why they experience so much frustration. It's why they're constantly ruminating over you. And it's why their silent treatment eventually backfires on them. Because they're really their own worst enemy. You have the opportunity to start a new life without prejudice, without harms that result from action or judgment, but they will never have that opportunity because they've never been judged, which is why they're constantly judging themselves. And it's why they display such an excessively critical point of view of you, because you have to judge yourself first before you can criticize other people. You have to ensure that you are up to par. They don't do that because they know that they would inevitably fall short, which is how by default, all they can do is be a parasite. They can only leech off you by getting you to underestimate your own worth, which is why if you match their effort and you remain silent, they will only put in more effort to control you and it will always be something underhand rather than genuine or legitimate because that's just where they're at so they want to corrupt and deprave you but you do not need to engage with them on that level maintain your silence and continue doing what you need to do thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comment section, hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website, it's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.